Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is being sponsored by CC Chili Oils. This a small mom and pop company is making two really delicious oils that you all need to try. They have both the avocado and the olive oil versions and it's very flavorful and I love that they're toasted sesame seeds in there. So the link will be in the description box so click on that link to shop today. We're going to start our recipe by seasoning our cleaned and deveined and butterflied shrimp with salt. To that, we're going to add in some lemon pepper, smoked paprika, and Cajun seasoning. Now, if your Cajun seasoning is very salty, you would want to omit the salt that we put in at the beginning. Now I'm just going to give this a quick mix and next I'm going to add in a special ingredient. This is the CC garlic chili oil. This one is in olive oil. There are dried garlic flakes in there, some chili flakes, sesame seeds and it's all infused with that olive oil. So it's very yummy and very delicious. So just give that a mix and set it aside. Next, put up a skillet and we're going to place our skillet on a medium heat. Add in one tablespoon of unsalted butter. You really want to control the salt in here because we already seasoned the shrimp really flavorful with all of those seasonings. We're going to add in minced garlic. We want a really rich garlic flavor. Give that a mix and allow it to saute until it's tender and fragrant. This should take about anywhere between one minute. You don't want the garlic to burn, so just until it's nice and tender. Now add in the seasoned shrimp. And if you guys want to use langostino or lobster or even a combination of seafood for this, of course you can. Toss that and allow it to cook. Now this is gonna cook up pretty quickly because we butterfly the shrimp. I find when you butterfly the shrimp that all of those flavors get into the shrimp rather than when you leave the shrimp pool. We're going to add in coconut milk powder to add some richness and some creaminess and we'll give that a toss. Now I'm not adding any heavy cream to this recipe but if you want to add some heavy cream feel free to but you're going to dilute the taste of the coconut milk powder when you do that so you can always double or triple the amount of coconut milk powder you place in this. In goes parmesan cheese and chopped parsley and feel free to add as much or as little parmesan cheese as you like I'm just adding in a little bit of water to create some extra sauce the chopped parsley goes in and we just have to toss I'm gonna make sure everything is mixed in properly It smells so yummy right now. I can't wait to taste this. Now, once it's done, what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish it with some of that chili oil. But this time I'm using the avocado chili oil. So I'm just gonna add in a drizzle over the top. And then this is ready to be served. If you guys would like to purchase this oil, I leave the link in the description box for you all so all you have to do is click on that link and it takes you directly to their landing page where you can order this oil both oils are very tasty and flavorful so make sure and order yours early today and try it let me know what you think and thank you so much for joining me for this video i'll see you in the next recipe bye everyone